Hey y'all, welcome back to Daydream Manor Flower Farm. I'm Dawn, I live in South Louisiana, and I am a flower farmer in my sixth growing season, and I'm over the age of 50, so welcome into the high tunnel. All right, I had to do this in the high tunnel today because I wanted y'all to see these Lysianthus. They have been so worth the wait. Now, I will tell you, I am obsessed, um, so I think everybody else should be. <laughs> um, but I will say this, sales have been really slow here the, fa the past few weeks, and this is the end of May. Um, it is, it, and I thought it was just me, but I reached out to a few other flower farmer, my flower farming group, and sales have been slow for them as well. So I don't know, I don't, I don't know if it's just the economy right now, and I, I don't know, um, but I'm gonna keep an eye on it. So I am adjusting to that. I'm trying to do a few things differently. Um, I am selling some straight bunches of um, Lysianthus to the public for farm pickup. Um, I think I'm going to do a fill your own vase event. We're going to see how that goes. Um, I'm just going to try some different things right now because we got to get the flowers moving. Whew, but let me tell y'all, let's do a weather check in. Okay, I don't know about the rest of you, but right now we are in the highs in the mid 90s. Um, heat index is well into the hundreds. It's not June yet. <laughs> I'm trying not to whine, but I am. Um, I, you know, in the South, we say women don't sweat, they glisten. I am glistening my ass off right now. Um, Jesus, I, it is, I get the whole, um, what is it, garden naked day or whatever. If I wouldn't scare my neighbors, that would be an option. No, I'm just kidding. There's too many bugs here. Y'all, the high tunnel was was filled with somebody told me they were damsel flies i i don't know when i tried to google lens them they came up as wasps but but they're not wasps so i i don't know what they are but they were filled it was just all over the doors so mr daydream came and opened up the side so you know it's like bug jumanji around here still and not to mention over the past four or five days we have had multiple snake sightings. And if you have followed me, if you have joined me here at any given time, you know that is the one thing I am just deathly afraid of. Good snake, bad snake, doesn't matter. Um, I'm not good. In fact, uh, I had went to walk to the compost um, heap and <sighs> there was a snake and I just stood there and screamed. And Mr. Daydream comes running around and he's like, what? And I'm like, and he knew because I don't scream about anything but that. And so it was a gar it was a grass snake, but we have seen several grass snakes. We have seen a rat snake. There was a cotton mouth in the driveway. So it is just that time of year. Um, I have not seen that many snakes. We've lived out on this property for several years. Um, I've not seen that many snakes since we've lived here. So between the snakes, all of the bugs, y'all, I'm telling you, it's like it's like bug. Jumanji, Armageddon, I don't know. I, I, I don't know what's happening, but not a fan, not a fan. So, all right, other than that, I hope you're all doing well. So let's talk about a couple of things. And I am gonna be stopping to drink every once in a while. I am so sorry, I'm gonna try to do that quietly because I know that bothers some people, but it is extremely hot and I do not wanna be dehydrated. So with that being said, hold, I'm back. I just needed a little bit of drink. So. I have made a few decisions um, just based on what I really want the farm to look like. So I actually did a little bit more of a deeper dive into um, how many more years do I want to do this? What is the income that I really want to make? What am I, what am I out to do? <clears throat> so to be clear, I am 57 years old. I only want to work another two to three years in my corporate job, and then I want to be here. I feel like by the age of 65, I will be ready to wrap this up. So, that's about eight years. And what do I want that to look like here? Now, I'm not saying in eight years, you know, maybe one of my granddaughters, the, the youngest one, will be 15 or 16 by then. She shows a lot of interest in the farm. Maybe it's me turning it over to her for her to run. I don't know. Um, but I cannot see me past the age of 65 really out here doing the physical physical piece of this. 
Um, and maybe I'll be in a place to hire someone. I don't know what that looks like, but I know if I have to have an end game, that's probably around the age I want to be able to slow it way down. So with that being said, um, I am not looking to replace my corporate income. That's just not going to happen. Maybe if I would have started this 10 years ago, maybe, um, but not this late in the game. I'm, it's just not. First of all, I don't have it in me to work that hard out here <laughs> to, to do that. So what I really wanted to focus on is using the money that I, that I, the profit that I take in from the flower farm. I want that to compensate my retirement. Um, I want that to be our travel fund um, or anything we want to do. Like one of the things we really want to do is put an outdoor kitchen in. And so I want to take this money and put towards it so that our retirement, um, and, and look, Mr. Daydream is several years younger than I am. So he has more time still left to work, but we've always had a, um, well, we've been married, we've been together almost 20 years. And our philosophy is if you can't afford it on one income, we don't do it. And we both have, we are dual income, no children at home. Um, we make, we make a decent living, but we have always just tried to live within that. Um, and it's what's helped us get to the financial security that I feel we're at now. So <clears throat> that's when I look at the flower farm, like that's the things I want to take this money and do. Um, an outdoor kitchen. Um, I want to add some more landscaping to the house. So there's some things that I want to use this money for, but definitely not to replace my current income. Um, can it help build into my retirement? Yeah, but I, I, I'll have some retirement. So it's just the way I am thinking about things now. Um, as I get closer to hashtag farming over 60. So um, the other things that I thought about was, so I have the eight raised beds out in the field. Um, cool season flowers did okay. It gets so hot so fast here that sometimes it's a struggle. So there's a few that I'm gonna keep, but I wanna use the tunnel a lot more. So in the tunnel, I want to do my tulips and ranunculus and the lisianthus, that's a given. Those are what's gonna go in. I'm gonna do lilies in crates in here. That's a given. At the same time, I'm gonna do a full, few cool season things outside, maybe in three of the eight beds. I am not. I had originally said I was gonna add more beds. I'm not, I am at capacity. Um, not property capacity, but me capacity. I, I just don't have it in me um, to do more than that. So I think I'm gonna take three of the beds. Those will be cool season. So, and when I say cool season, I mean like some of my fillers, the Omni. I, I just got this basket flower. Oh my gosh, I think I'm gonna do more of her. Um, Bee Balm, um, and maybe some Rebecca. Some of those things that have been tried and true that I have done and used for six years running that I've not had any problems with. Um, Snapdragons, I have cut unless I do them in the tunnel, but I have a flower farmer who is amazing at growing Snapdragons. I truthfully would rather just pay, buy them wholesale from her. So I think that's where I'm headed. Then the other five boxes outside, um, Continuing into the early spring and fall in the tunnel. I want to do the mums. I'm testing the dahlias this year. Don't know how they're going to do, but I'm going to try them. Um, so that's a given. I really want to do some glads out in the field. So that will be in a box, but I am moving my sunflowers into that raised box area because it's already fenced. Um, I'm going to do zinnias and marigolds and I'm going to go really heavy on those. Um, and then I'm going to do just one bed of a mixture of gumfrina, um, basil, celosia, some of those, those prettier fillers. And that's what I'm going to do in the in bed eight. So beds one, two, and three will be cool season that I will start like in November along with the things that'll go in here, the ranunculus, the tulips, that sort of thing. And then when I start in March for warm season, it'll be the zinnias, the marigolds, all of those things in the other five beds. Um, well, I say five beds, probably six. No, that's right, five, because I have three that'll be cool season. When I flip those cool season ones, um, those three will become sunflowers. So 
that's like 900 sunflowers that can fit in those three beds and i think i'm just going to concentrate like that um, i've gotten really good at doing a bouquet recipe so um, i know what i kind of want to grow how many i'll need and i think that's where i'm going to head the other thing that i want to add um, i'm going to try in the fall i'm going to test it in the fall um, up front on the front of our property and one day I'll bring you up there and show you I want to put a pop-up tent for right now and do a little roadside farm and two Saturdays a month in the fall I want to offer just bouquets um, that you can drive in pick them up and go it's gonna take a little while to get established but I think that may be another place that I want to um, I have been selling well I have had bouquets at the boutique that has not gone as well as I have wanted it to. It does well when I do a pop-up there and I am pushing my flowers when people are coming in, they're building their bouquets. Those, I have sold out every time I've done that. However, when I do pre-made bouquets, put them out in my space, advertise it, everybody shares it, people comment, but they don't sell. So I, I'm gonna shift gears on that as well. So this year and early spring, I am really, really narrowing it down um there's just no reason for me to be all over the place anymore this I've, I've been doing this too long to be this scattered this year i was really scattered just because i wanted to use all the seed i had left i don't know what the hell i was thinking but i had all the seed left and i was like oh, i'm just gonna use it and i'll just grow all of this y'all that was an epic fail First of all, some of the seed was really too old. It didn't germinate. So all of that is, I've cleaned all of that out, shared that before, but I'm just trying to get a little bit more focused down on making this a well-oiled machine. Now, second thing that, or third thing, I don't know how many things, whatever thing I'm on. The other big, big piece that I have got to get done this year is the drip irrigation that's got to be a plus I, i've got to get that done um that is the last thing in my processes my system my structure that i really need to get done and we've just kind of been dragging our feet on it just because um, it's not so much putting in the drip irrigation but we're running the gutters off of the high tunnel we're putting an above ground pool over here with a pump i don't know mr daydream has all that figured out that's his job uh, it's just been we have had so much other stuff happening and dealing with life outside the farm and and our own job so that's up on deck but i will say this for the first time in about three years i feel settled with the idea of what i want this farm to look like over the next seven eight years um but it took me sitting down and really thinking about what were my goals um realistically now that i've done this for so many years what am i capable of doing um and i feel pretty good about it so look and i never say never and never say ever because <laughs> you never know right you just never ever know anyway um that's the plan that i'm going to move forward with so other than that y'all the dahlias are finally starting to i've got two that have opened up they're really pretty um, I've got to get the rest of the mums in. It's just never ending. And I kind of want to get to a space where in, for sure, in July and August, I'm not out here. Um, that I'm just watering or doing whatever needs to be done and just maintenance. But um, it's just really so stinking hot. Uh, you know, you put flowers in, into the raised beds, and I have the black weed barrier, and they just melt. And so... Um, I'm going to flip one of those this year to some uh, bio, the bio 360, is it? Whatever it is, the white, and see if that doesn't help. Um, I may even try to put some straw down on top. I, I don't know. We're just going to, we're going to play around and see. But right now, if I had it my way, I would, I would get rid of that whole raised bed thing and I'd put another tunnel in. That's how much I like this thing. So I don't know. I say that. We'll see come July and August how I really feel. So anyway, that's my update. Um, oh, sweet Jesus. Y'all, I have to tell y'all this because I think y'all will identify or some of you will identify. I was, plant, I was pulling up all of that um, ranunculus 
and I don't know what to sing. I usually sit, I have this little stool that I sit on. I've showed y'all this before, folks. But for whatever reason, I decided I was going to kneel um, on the on the landscape timbers and do it. I couldn't get up. Y'all, my legs locked up so bad, and I was like trying to stand. If anybody was watching, I, they, I probably looked like a roly-poly that was like stuck on its back or a turtle on its back. I mean, I just could not get up. My legs had locked up so bad. So when I finally stood up, I'm going to tell y'all, I hobbled all the way back to the house, ran a warm, ba a hot bath first with Epsom salt and then let it turn cold. And I just sat in the tub for almost an hour. Yeah, I was hurting. I don't know what the hell I was thinking. Um, I guess in my mind, I'm not 57. I, you know, maybe I'm 37 in my mind, but Jesus, don't do that. Oh, my back hurt. My legs hurt so bad. In fact, when I went to bed, I ended up having to get up and take something because my legs were just jumping. I could just feel like all the muscles were just tense. It was terrible. It was terrible. So, the joys of farming over 50. Anyway, that's my little PSA today. And if you're going to kneel, kneel on something soft. I had a sweatshirt I was kneeling on because it was just stuck in the bottom of this. It's been in here forever. It's actually a, it's actually a rag. I don't know if y'all do that. I'll take old clothes and tear them up and put it, put them into rags. And so I had a sweatshirt that I used as a rag and I had just rolled that up and that wasn't good enough. Just saying. Um, <laughs> So protect your legs, protect your back, make sure you're drinking a lot during this hot summer time. And um, I will see you next week. I hope y'all have a fantastic week and happy growing.